Hey everybody, Jake here with TrendSpider to go over the software update from February 18th, which introduces quite a few new features to the platform. The first being the ability to draw and annotate your charts through trend lines, vertical lines, arrows, rectangles, or the measurement tool, which um, really comes into uh, comes in handy when using the alerts. And the new multi-factor or multi-conditional alerts can be found here next to the alert button and you just click uh, the plus button. So you can essentially come in and create any criteria that you would like for an alert to trigger. So for example, for me, something I may be looking at is a breakdown through this wedge. So what I would be looking at is the RSI breaking down, the MACD crossing to the downside, and then also maybe the vortex indi indicator crossing, uh, blue crossing red to the downside. Now, everybody has their own rules, everybody has their own signals that they look at, so this is simply just kind of showing how I personally would use the platform to create a signal um, from these three lower indicators. So when I go here, I could click um, wedge breakdown on the alert name. then we can expire in seven days or whatever you'd like. Um, and I'll do twice for when the, this alert is triggered and that's when it will expire. Now what you can do as well is you can click between all of the following or any of the following. So you can choose, let's say that I want all of these conditions to occur. So I would say, let's say the MAC, uh, excuse me, the RSI on the daily is less than, let's say, you know, Let's say a breakdown below 60. We could do a constant value of 60 here. We could also, um, just to show you this real quick, we could also do the RSI um, breaking down below the weekly RSI, which is this dotted line here. So you can tell when the daily crossed through the weekly to the upside, that's when we had uh, some more upside left. Then when we crossed to the downside here, back in early December, that's when we also showed more downside. So um, these, this relationship between the daily and the weekly could be significant and that's why I wanna add it to my alert. So simply I would just do the daily is less than the weekly RSI and then you'd also be able to do that as well. So um, you, know, you could have both of these or you could just have one. It's really how specific you want to get. Now, we could also add more, so let's say we want to add the MACD. If we wanted to add a MACD bearish cross, we would have the fast, which is the blue, crossing below the slow, which is the yellow. So we'd have this fast is less than the, let's see, the daily slow. And so that would essentially show the bearish cross here. Now, the last thing I would look up would be the vortex indicator, so the daily vortex positive, which is the blue, is less than the red. So when these two cross, the blue would now become less than the red, and so we would do less than the daily vortex negative. So um, these would be the criteria that I would use. You can also add a number of other ones, such as if you want to mess with the candles, the open, the high, the low, or the close, or let's say if you want to do the uh, actual pattern, if you want to look for a bearish engulfing pattern, for example, um, to confirm the breakdown, you can also do that. So it's very powerful. One thing to also mention on the expert mode is right now when we go to add a parameter, we only have the ability to choose from daily or weekly because those are the time frames on the chart. Now when we go to expert mode, that will actually give us all the time frames that we can choose from to make the alert and the criteria even more complex to you know reduce false signals or whatever you want to do with your signal. So um, that's how you do that. Let's say that you really like this breakdown um, signal that you created. You can go in and save that as a template as well. Um, so there are, there's a lot of different ways that you can use this um, alert system to your advantage and make trading and technical analysis more efficient. Now, you can also load from the, the, the template library. We have a few different things that you can choose from. These are not advice or buy or sell signals. They're just kind of um, different criteria that you can mess around with to see if this is something that you may look at adding to your strategy. So that is how that works.
The next thing, so once we you know create this alert, the alert will go in this library and you'll be able to kind of um, follow it and you'll actually be able to see you know when the different criteria are true or false. So you can see here on the um, breakdown we've got these uh, conditions that are either saying yes or no and that's where you can kind of track um, how the trade is going. So we can if you click on this um, it will go back to the spy chart and then you can kind of pick up where you left off. The next thing that we have is really um, the ability to kind of have a say in what may be coming next on the platform. And what we mean by that is, let's say that you want to make your own signal, you want to add your indicators here, and you're looking at the indicator library and you don't see the indicator you want to use. Well, you can simply request a new indicator and that will essentially send us an email to let us know that you'd like to add a certain indicator. So um, feel free to use that if there's something we don't have on the platform that you'd like to see. We also have that on our patterns um, feature as well. So if we don't have a candlestick pattern that you're looking for, you can always request a new one like this. So that is a pretty cool feature as well. Um, the next one is the ability to clone your chart. So before, when you went to a new layout, the chart would essentially have every single um, feature on. So that became kind of very noisy, kind of hard to deal with when you just open the chart. So now when you choose another layout or to add you know, more than one chart on the whole chart, um, you essentially just clone your chart over rather than having to go through and add or delete any of these things that are all on. So essentially what I meant by that is D and W were green on every single one of these indicators, so it became just very um, polluted to use. And so now you're essentially just cloning the chart and it's much easier. So that is that. And the last thing that we really have is the fact that we have streaming data now. So um, data is more um, kind of real time, if you will. It's constantly streaming rather than our old data source, which was not. And so that is another way um, we are trying to increase the quality of data on the platform. So that is everything we have on this feature update. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to reach out and we would be happy to answer your questions. Have a great day and thanks for listening in.